My patches, I love you, honey. You're such a good girl. She just opened her eyes and took a look at me and winked and curled back up. She's adorable. Pussycat patches, I love you. You're a real chunk of pussycat, too. Look at you. You got so chunky. So chunky, you got. You put a lot of weight on. I want to check your collar. Your collar's not too tight yet, right? You have to keep loosening your collar, I know. I love you, little girl. I had to feed you with a syringe. For eight weeks, I was handcuffed to you and your siblings. Meow. All right, I'll leave you alone. I love you. You're a good girl. There's your sister. Your only sister. Jody, her only sister. What's up, Jody? You named Jody after the great late Jody Stockwell, my lifelong friend. Yep. Tigress. Tiger Kitty's mate. And you get that scratch. You got that scratch doing this? Hmm? Mm, who wants a fish tank or two? Or three? Hmm? He did not forget who brought him to this dance. No question about it. Uh, very, very sharp. Very specific about looking into... Smarty Cat Simba! I love you, Simba. You speak to me? What do you say when you speak it to me? Hmm? You say, I love you. Meow, meow, meow. And he probably does it when I'm not ready to record it. And I'll get the camera and he won't say shit. And I'll waste five, ten minutes of recording time. So I upload that regardless. And while that's uploading and I don't have my phone... He starts meowing, I love you again. And he meows it God knows how many times a day. Whenever he wants attention from me and I'm busy doing something else. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. And there's me today. And Donald Trump has been inaugurated the 45th president. And Mike Pence, Vice President, God bless them men. May they stay safe. The Secret Service keep them safe. Great Lake Tiger Kitty over here. I just printed out that. That's the latest photo I printed out of him. I still say, man, I didn't give the doctor any argument. I should have said, revive him. And he would probably would just like the last time. Or I had to freaking save him. They gave him back to me. He was almost dead. And he was in good shape when I dropped him off. I'm talking about Adjust Cats when they did the chest tap. They said he had water on the heart. He did not. Should have never did anything to Tiger. I mean, I don't know. If we knew it was the mold, he, I could have saved him and me and all of them, especially Simba. A lot of suffering. And there's still some mold in here. I have, oof, see, I'm half out of my mind already. I had an asthma attack in here today. Sinus and asthma. I've been fine for a few days. But I haven't really done much. You know, today I'm fucking moving around. I'm cleaning, trying to clean and throw things out. And I'm, meh. I guess I'm stirring up because they contaminated my house. I don't give a fuck what they say. I've seen it. 
their containment field was no good. It was no good. It was the worst mold they ever seen. That's what they said to me. And I got a few pictures of the mold in here. All right. I couldn't get any pictures in my, my bedroom. All right. As the guy said, it was the worst he ever seen. He scared the hell out of me. I didn't want to go in there and even take the pictures. He says, don't worry. No, I got the pictures. I'll send them to you. I never got them. But it was the worst he had ever seen. And he said it was here for five years at minimum. Probably ten. More like at least ten, he said to me. And he also said, he explained that uh, the mold spores are usually three to five of those little round circles per square foot. That's all we ever see. You've got tens of thousands of them per square foot. That's what the man said to me. I don't know what to do here. This is damn. All right, look, end of video.